In a time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zerok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned.
It has risen again, Sir Daniel Fortescue, see? The hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Sarak and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your Book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can.
When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a runestone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Track down Xerox by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galomir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. small light following you around is a wisp. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perception. He will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks, but he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting.
remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a soul, the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it, and you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero will collect the full set. Beyond these skull gates, the master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs>